Here we go. So I've been asked a lot what a Unix Linux filter is. And this is a word I haven't used in a long time. And basically a filter is, is a command that accepts any command that accepts standard input. So that's the main purpose of a filter. Now, uh, I suppose we should say with the intent uh, to transform or, you know, filter uh, the incoming uh, lines or buffer. So there's two, there's actually two types of filters. There's line buffer filters, uh, which are like this. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to put this in here. So this is actually uh, a, a pretty fancy trick. I'm going to go ahead and show you this right now. So here's a filter. Oops. And I'll put the call this bash. So here is an example of a filter. I don't think that's going to convey uh, into, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how that's going to go as a description. So this is an example of a filter program. Uh, but a, a simpler filter might be something like like this one. So actually, let me go ahead and read it in. Uh, whoops, our temp foo, I already put it in here. So uh, shell script, as you can see, uh, this just reads in standard input. And it, it IFS, you always want to do that. That changes it to read line returns, not spaces as the separator. And dash R says, ignore any backslash crap that might exist. You always want that. When you, anytime you do a while line, just always type IFS read dash R. You'll just be so happy you did. Uh, and then down here it says, whatever the first argument to the script is, let's use that. But if it's not there, then let's use hashtag. So I can actually use this right now to comment out these two lines. So I use the magic wandy kind of things, right? So I do... So I type exclamation point and then a right uh, bracket. There's a million combinations to get that to work. This, which is turns it into an ed command down here, which is an X slash ed command. X is the new ed. And so, and, and VI is X. So VI is the standard editor anyway. And now I say CMT. So that's passes this, that passes the lines one at a time to this program right here, actually. And then what? it prints out each line with its replacement. So it puts a line return in front of it, right? I can do the same thing with another value. I could say, say I wanted, you know, something like this. Now it'll do that, okay? Much easier than visual mode, by the way. Uh, learning to use uh, filters properly is uh, a critical part of mastering Unix, uh, Linux, and the Linux philosophy. So, in fact, this is specifically mentioned, if you could do some research, you can look at the Unix philosophy and read about it, you will see that the Unix philosophy is full of filters. You should make everything, all your scripts should be do one thing really well, integrate with everything else, and be filters if they can be. Uh, if you want to happily, if you want to turn your, your your subroutines into filters, you can do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get, this code is not. I don't believe this code is gonna convey. We're gonna figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna leave it in here. There's, but let's say let's say you wanted to grab all of of the stuff instead of just like if you're using Pandoc or something, right? Maybe you don't want to transform each line as you go, right? Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to transform like, like everything. Maybe you want to take all of the input lines together and pass that as a single argument or whatever into Pandoc or some other program without the line stuff. There is another way to do that. Um, 
and I'm going to put that here right now. So it's called filter buffer. It's actually quite a bit easier uh, to do this. And what this does is this grabs all the lines and puts them in there instead. Uh, and we're not going to get into funk name or any of these things. If you if you want to if you want to unpack what this does, I strongly recommend it. Uh, but when you use these things, you're going to need to have some sort of function. So my funk, uh, you know, and then you up here you would have it you would have it be uh, you'd say filter, and then you give it. You pass all the arguments, and it's really important. Part really important, and return uh, whatever the filter was. So that'll bail out of the filter if it matched. Otherwise, it calls recursively into itself, right? So then you could have uh, you could say, "I want to," uh, you know, we could actually make this into our filter, right? So instead of having to do all that code up there, we could just do this. You just say echo line line, and this will be called on every item that happens. So, so that's a, another way to do it. Um, and actually, no, that doesn't. We don't need. We don't need line. We need. Um, we just need. We we only want to do one line at a time. That's what the filter thing is here for. So this is a this is kind of nice. You put echo. Uh, yeah. And then, oh, and then the rest of whatever is passed in. That's what this is. So that, that passes in all the arguments. So, so, so yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. I mean, you know, stay tuned and keep looking at it. So the answer to the question is, what is a Unix Linux filter command? A filter command is just a command that accepts standard input and transforms each line at a time or reads the entire buffer and then transforms that and sends it on its way. Why are filters better? Uh, filters are superior uh, to other plugin approaches uh, because they so easily uh, attach together into pipelines, right? Uh, and this is this is a real nice thing. This is if I had done all of this in Lua or something, I could not have made it into a pipeline. But because I did, I can do this. I can say, uh, I can echo. I don't know, like blah blah here. I mean, you know, let's pretend that right, and then send that to. Uh, temp foo and you can see it comments it out right so I mean I could even do it so I wanted colors the the point of this is that this this script can be combined in any number of unforeseen ways that you might it might even it's probably it's going to fix problems that you don't even know you have later that's the reason to use filters is to build these pipeline items and if it takes by the way if if this takes if I do temp foo with with this as an argument, it'll do the same thing. Actually, no, it won't, because that one's hard coded. We didn't put the filter in there, but you know what I'm saying. So the the filter, that's the advantage of that that filter thing. So this that filter thing that I showed you, the reason it's written that way is so that uh, you can you can do either or. Either if you pass an argument, it uses the argument. Otherwise, it'll accept what's coming in. Okay? So that's it. Have fun with that. Take a look at that. Uh, you really you really need to learn how to write a filter in Unix. If you do not know how to write a filter in a shell script, you don't know Unix and you don't know Linux. And it's one of the most basic, basic tenets of the Unix philosophy. So you really, really, really need to learn it. <laughs> okay? Go play with it. Here comes Eric. Nice to see you, Eric. Comes raining in at the end of our video. <laughs> uh.